Hi students, coming to the next topic in the software engineering that was software crisis. So what do you mean by crisis? Here actually the software crisis means it is some problems that you occur while you are designing a software. So that you call it as a software crisis. So it is a term used in early days but nowadays we are not using the software crisis. So why we are not using that I will explain now. So it is a term used in early days of computing science for the difficulty of writing useful and efficient programs in required time. Suppose in within a time, uh, for in those days, it is difficult to uh, for writing useful and efficient programs. So that you le that leads to a software crisis. So let me write that. It is a term used in early days early days of computing science for the difficulty of writing useful and efficient programs in required time so they are able to write but they are, it is not possible to complete within in required time it is difficult to write the useful code in a required time so that leads to a software crisis so why it uh, we are not able to writing useful code in efficient and a efficient program in required time because due to rapid increase in computer power and also the complexity of problems that could not be tackled so with that reasons uh, the the difficulty of writing will uh, become and the efficient program is required okay now let us see the causes of software crisis what are the causes of software crisis so the different uh, causes for software crisis is the project running over budget suppose if the project running is over budget then it leads to software crisis and if the project running in over time means it is crossing the time that leads to a software crisis and the software was very inefficient if whatever the software we are using that if it is inefficient that leads to a software crisis if the software of uh, was of low quality Due to budget problems, if you use a low quality soft product, software, then it leads to a software crisis. And the software often did not meet requirements, then it leads to software crisis. So, these are the different causes that leads to software crisis. So, let me explain in diagrammatic. Uh, if, when the software crisis will occur. Suppose if you use the same work, if you use the same workforce, if suppose a limited people were there, if using the same workforce, same methods, means you are not changing the methods, you are using the same manpower and you are using the same methods for solving the program. If you use the same tools without changing any, if without you uh, adding the advantage uh, techniques, okay. So, if you are using the same workforce, if you use the same methods and the same tools, uh, even though it is increasing demand, even though the demand is increasing, even, increasing demand or increasing complexity increasing complexity and increasing challenges increasing challenges that leads to software crisis I hope you understand what exactly the software crisis is. So, when the software crisis, software problems will occur, if you use the same work, same method, same tools, at the time of increasing the demand, the demand is increasing, complexity of systems is increasing, 
challenges are increasing means the competition was increasing even though uh, nowadays uh, all those things are increasing even though it is increasing you are using the same if you use the same workflows if you use the same methods if you use the same tools whatever you used previously that leads to software crisis so if uh, something is changing means you have to add new configuration to your software then only it will become successful okay so uh, for this reasons this software uh, crisis will be increasing so then what is the solution for this software crisis solution of software crisis okay demands are increasing complexity is increasing challenges are increasing okay but i am using only the same method same for same tools then how can i overcome this software crisis the main solution for uh, software crisis is software engineering the software engineering is a solution for software crisis why it is solution for the software crisis because the software engineering is an application of engineering to develop of software in a systematic method it is following one systematic method if you follow that systematic method this software crisis will not occur because so with the help of systematic approach means whenever the change is required it will change whenever the manpower is required it will add whenever the tools are required it is going to be add whenever the new technology is added it is going to be add like that the software engineering is a systematic method it is used to develop of software okay so that is a main solution for the software crisis thank you